Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal from Blum Water. We're just going right through the thing, huh? We're just going right through the title screen appearing. Pretty rude. So last time we started this here, this whole thing here, you know, we started the IQ games and it felt a little bit awkward, so we're getting more of that today, I guess. Code Buster, gonna bust the code, 25 points, follow the instructions and press the buns as indicated, Earthlings. Oh, right, this one, I kind of remember now. For 25, huh? Yeah, well, well, there you go. So you see an instruction and you do it. You read and you do it. And then you wait awkwardly. Apparently future games... Um... Uh, 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 uh. Apparently future games, when you just do it, like when you've accomplished it, when you're done, it, uh, it stops. Like, like there, uh, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It like it it moves on to the next one. It doesn't just kind of make you wait out the clock. So uh, uh, oh, this is like very similar to one we just did, except uh, I press a different direction. It's pretty good. You gotta learn how to read uh, up, down, left, right in the proper order, assuming that the proper order is the order that they wrote it down there. But that's not necessarily what that means, you know. I wonder if I had pressed right four times. Would it have it had been happy? I did it. Well, see, sometimes it changes. Sometimes you hold a direction, you press the button. Sometimes you press the button, hold the button, you press the direction. It's pretty wild. Like there, if I had pressed A four times, no. See, I feel like it would not give it to you. That is literally the Konami code. We're just do using the Konami code now. Are you allowed? Are you allowed to do that? You are not Konami, Wario, and you know, you are not Konami, Nintendo. But I mean, uh, uh, two, three, four, cat, cinq. But I mean, also, like, they don't n n necessarily call it like that. Two, three, four, cat, cinq, six, seven, eight. What? I guess I... I guess I must have pressed it seven times by accident. Uh, oh no, input, un, deux, trois, un, deux. I mean, like, I just don't, I don't want this to just all be counting, but this might be what it evolves into. We literally did that the last time we were at level three. What is up with that? Whoa, I did it. I hit a button, then I press direction. Oh my gosh. I did it. Un, deux, trois, un, deux. Yeah, I mean, I'll just count. I'll just count out loud. That's what I have to- 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whoa, okay, uh... Time is getting fast. Uh, like, when it's just a uh, hold and press, sure, but when you're inputting a si- 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Uh, yeah, at this point, okay, I need to- uh, 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 uh. But see, like, I can press it after the success happens, but... The success isn't immediately after you do the sequence. Uh, 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 uh. So, yeah, uh, be careful about that. Okay, I think I just... Why does the Konami code keep coming back? Is there just, like, not enough options for level 3? Like, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Ah, I knew I pressed it four times. It doesn't matter, I won, but... But I don't like knowing I failed it, though. <laughs> there we go. It's going pretty fast at this point. Uh, do trois, quatre, cinq. Okay, I thought I pressed it too much. I guess I didn't. Yeah, okay, I th I don't, I don't, I don't know if I press it too much, no, no, I was just tapping pretty quick. Because, like, you know, like, time is going fast. Stop Konami coding, it's weird. Whoop, I, I literally pressed left instead of right. Why did I do that? I have no idea. I don't have no idea why my thumb did that. That was, that was a bad call. But here, we're gonna get some frogs. What's the total, get it? Total, except with a D somewhere. Count the number of amphibious creatures crossing the lily pad. Careful! You cannot make corrections. Count! Alright, so we press button for frogs. One, two, three. I did it! Count it to three, and then we're just waiting awkwardly. Giant hand holding a counter. One, two, three, four. Whoa, ho, ho. Yeah, as, as soon as you see them, as, see, as soon as your retinal nerve 
sees a shape that looks like a frog, you just press the button. Like, there's no reason not to do it immediately. Like, I'm, like, I, I feel like counting and then tapping in accordance to what you counted is the wrong strat. It's just count by pressing the button. That's the only way this is gonna work. Like, I'm not really counting, it's just that as soon as my eye, like, okay, there's a shape, distinct shape, distinct shape, distinct shape, like, that's just... Like, that's just the way to go. And it's pretty simple. We'll see how things go as, uh, speed picks up. But, um, because I'm sure, like, like, you know, like, you know, yeah, exactly, but still, we'll see. My favorite thing to do <laughs> is say very intelligent things. That make a lot of sense. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I think I messed up. I think I messed up. I did not mess up. See, my my reflex brain knew I was right, but uh, my thinking brain was wrong. But you know, I think I need to keep reflex brain in charge here and not thinking brain, because that's what thinking brain does. Thinking brain, by its very nature, just does not. Oh, does not trust reflex brain. I don't know why. You know, you think that if, if they would cooperate more, that would just be kind of better overall? Well, what do you think? What can I do? You know, like, they're, they're, they just kind of spent a lifetime distrusting each other, uh, me just telling them to behave. Considering they're all intrinsic part of me, it's not like I can address them separately all that well. I think that's what meditation can do? I think it's five, yeah. Why didn't I correct it? Because I wasn't... Because... No, the six. Yeah, no. I can tell. I'm not pressing a button in time. But, like, my brain's like, no, I'm wrong. But instead of correcting, I just say it out loud. Like, that's not... That's not gonna fix the issue if all I do about it is say it. Like, that's just... That's not gonna... Progress will not be achieved by just saying it. Uh, at this point... You know what, it's fine. Yeah, at this point I feel like I I, 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 I fear that I'm gonna press a button too much rather than actually trust the count. It's pretty weird. Gearhead Fred! <laughs> Ten points, that's not a lot. Turn the lower interlocking wheel device to save the humanoid hanging above. Yeah, I remember this game, Turn Sprocket, and I remember struggling with it, because, all right, you gotta be saved. I did not actually look at how the gears were linked, I just pressed the direction. <laughs> See, that's what you want, yeah, because it's just gonna be two, you move that, you move that, it's, it's weird. So it's like, even that and odds that, then? I don't know. That's too much. <laughs> oh, no, 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 yeah, but only two gears matter, though. Okay, okay, okay. So they're going like that, because it's an uneven amount of gears. Okay. So you just kind of have to puzzle out what gears actually matter. So, yeah, there's an odd number, so you're going to go in that direction, and person there. They won't go after the guy with the cart. So that's odd. Whoops. No, that is even. But I pressed even. No, one of them doesn't do anything. See, that's that's how they trick you. Yeah, so yeah, like, there's a whole bunch of gear, sure, but there's only three that matter for the wheel where the guy is at. There we go. See, that, I mean, that gear isn't even spinning. It's just there for show. It's a decorative gear. It's very important to have. If you're, like, into clockwork, it's very important, the art of putting extraneous gears. They're there just for fun. You know, yeah, that's five. There you go. And they're all making a nice linear path. All right, this is the most basic version of this. But it's not the version we started, did it? I kind of forgot what was the... Uh, okay, so only two matter. That little tiny one there, it's just there. It's like, hey, check it out, it's me. I'm tiny decorative gear. Two, three, four, five, six, I pressed the wrong button, actually. <laughs> Good job. There you go. I mean, I already won. It's fine. It's okay. Whoops. No, yeah, I, I, see, yeah, I pressed as if it was even. And it was just even. So, yeah, at this point, it's just, yeah, like, I'm not keeping my code in mind. So, I'm making mistakes like that, where I get it, but then I just 
don't think about like what that actually means and you know like that's pretty silly now, Cal. Why would you do that? Oh boy, uh, that's... yeah, it's just three. Only three of them matter. The rest aren't even spinning. They're not even connected. Like, they're just... what? What was... What was that guy doing? Waving his arms like, hey, get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, then it's like, go over there with his finger. Okay, that's six. Here we go. A nice row. At some point, like, you do them enough and you just recognize the pattern. It's like, oh, it's that pattern. I've seen that before, and I know exactly what I need to do, and then you just do it. It's five. Yeah, see? I think I solved a game. I've solved the physics. I am now a uh, expert watchmaker. You can go, oh, that's just three. Yeah, the rest aren't even touching it. You know, they're just, they're just pretending to touch. That's the exact same setup, but with less decoration. Same thing here, exact same setup, but with less decoration. That's not the same setup, but it's kind of similar. Whoa, big sun. Kind of looks like a face, if you don't know what a face looks like. I won't blame you, though that's right. That looks about right. Oh, that's a mess. Hey, that was enough. Oh, there we go. We're going over here. That poor guy, he's just getting stuck on gears all the time. How does that happen? I want to learn the life of Gearhead. Why does that keep happening to him? Because that cannot be healthy. You must be making some very strange life choices that you just keep... Oh, whoops. I pressed the right thing. <laughs> I, I thought I didn't for a hot minute, though. Yeah, that's gonna be here. Alright, it's gonna be here. Whoa ho ho ho! It's going there. That's decorative gear. Uh, that guy, it's only three. The rest is just sugar. You know, you put it in the water and it's going to disappear. It's the same thing with gear. I pressed the wrong one. I knew the right answer, but my thumb was like, what if I do that instead? And we killed Fred. Only five times the amount of points, too. What a pitiful performance. Four-leaf hover! Clear 20 points. Find the traditional lucky bringing piece of flora and fly to it. Alright, we're a butterfly, right? And we're gonna find it. Yeah, I remember when I first got to this game, I did not understand what was going on because uh, I did not have those instructions about lucky flora and all that. It's just like, search! Yeah, search for what? It's all leaves, wet. Uh, I remember it took me a few times to actually just understand the goal of the game. I mean, that's like, that's what Warrior Wear is all about. Okay, see, they're hiding the leaves amongst the leaves amongst the leaves. 20 points, huh? All right, because, uh, yeah. The butterfly has somewhat of its own decision-making progress process in terms of moving it feels like like no like the way it bobs up and down there and that's not me like that's that's the butterfly doing its thing it's very easy when your eyeball just kind of accidentally lands where the four-leaf clover is <laughs> so my my hint to play this game well is just do that just end up having your eyes pointing at the right place and uh you'll do it I mean, there must be a reason why my eyes have been fairly consistently, though. See, here it's not doing it. Uh, I don't know where it is. I do not know where it is, like, at all. See, that's the problem part. If you, if you don't, if that doesn't happen naturally, you might be in trouble. It's right over here on top. Whoa. Yeah, the butterfly control is a bit strange. That's part of the added difficulty. There it is here. Is it always part of the leaves that are moving? I'm starting to think that might be the case. Because, yeah, because some leaves are moving, some are not, in order to properly domesticate the flying bullfrog. But, uh, like, I just... Uh, I mean, here, there's so much. Like, doesn't matter all that much. You can fly off, off, off border. That's funny. On the other side of the screen, man. Like, that's so far away for a little butterfly to fly. Where? Oh, I, I did not see it. I was just moving randomly where movement was, uh, and I was rewarded. Yes! I think they're always moving, though. 
So if you can't see it, go where things are moving and you at least have a shot at it. You at least, at least you know, a statistical chance. More so than not doing anything, that's for sure. Alright, I think I got, I think I won. That's all good. But you know what? Oh, I couldn't maneuver! Like you saw, like I think you all saw where I was trying to go, but... Maneuverability! Oh man, it's hard to steer a butterfly, you know? Especially uh, around leaves. If it was in open air, or in the snow, or inside a refrigerator, it'd be super easy. But with leaves though, ah oh, man, that butterfly is just too excited. And it becomes completely and utterly out of control, trademark, registered. What's oh, down here? There we go. Kind of last minute there. Eh? Uh, uh, there we go. Look at that beautiful shining animation that happens when you win. Did not see it. That was luck. I saw it like basically when I touched it. Uh, 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 there we go. There we go. I love the music. This is the. Whoa, 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 no, it's right here. I was hovering all around it, but uh, butterfly land. Uh, like you saw the graphic of the butterfly overlap with it, but not overlap enough, I guess. It's pretty rude. Two more games to do. That one was fun. That one was silly. It was fun. Si oh, I remember this game being hard. Electric groove fish, and it's twenty points. Provide electron activity by connecting the strange life form to the city. I remember this one being hard for me. And it wants 20. Okay, so, okay, you don't, you only choose the turns. I don't know if I ever grasped that when I was playing the game for real. I think I thought I was controlling like the elect the actual electricity, but yeah, all you do like you don't hold, you just tap. Okay, that explains a lot. Cause I remember when the track was like that in the real game, I I could never make it work. But it's because I was doing the wrong thing. You do not control the electricity, you control the direction it's going to surge into. It's kind of a very important nuance. Also, make sure to turn into there. And anyway, that is how the Japanese electrical grid is entirely powered by a single catfish. <laughs> and that seems about correct. So if something happens to that catfish, like what's gonna happen to that? Also, that fish is huge though. But maybe it's not huge. Like maybe this is just like a, a metaphorical representation. Say no, like there's a fish there. It's very important. So, pictographically, we're going to, you know, display it as huge, not because it's physically huge, but because its cultural and societal importance is huge, you know? So, like, how they did it uh, in hieroglyphics, where they would, like, portray, like, pharaohs and stuff as gigantic, not because they were literally 20 feet tall, but because, you know, they, they, were, they were the bosses, and also the ones commissioning the art, you know, that kind of had a big deal with it. All right, well, that's this game. It's very noisy. Electricity makes a lot of noise if you let it, and I'm letting it. There is very poor isolation on this substance I'm traversing. Whoa, just last minute. I think I basically have it, especially, yeah, because level ones are pretty easy. So I won, I think, even though at the start I really wasn't sure at all. Because now I can lose all the level threes and it's so okay. Except here you just do in circles, it's super easy. See, if you just, yeah, if you just do 360s all day, it's fine, you know, we're gonna pull a geef and try desperately to, to do a spinning pile driver and you will know joy. But when it's like nonsense like that, when it's an SNK super, and then like, okay, no, wait, I don't know anymore. It's a little bit harder on the thumb too. But you know, doing a circle with a thumb is very simple to someone who has played too many uh, video games. It's a very, very, very natural motion. But sometimes it get a little bit more abstract and I don't know. You know, I just don't know. So I thought I would have trouble with this game, huh? Yeah, that is something I said at the very start before selecting this game from its little thumbnail grid selection zone. I know, I heard myself say it. I heard it with my inside voice. 
because I'm the one that said it, and so I heard it with the voice that I hear it through my ear canals, like through my head, and not the actual voice that my thumb trapped. Uh, but yeah, not the actual voice that people hear, even though it is still not my actual voice, as there might be some changes done to the power of transferring my voice signal into an electrical signal. And then data on a computer? And there I accidentally rasped my finger on my table. See, this one is the hard one. Because it's like, what is that shape? That's not a shape, it's a spaghetti. That's a circle. Like, it looks like a square, but your thumb does a... Ugh, this is hard. I can kind of see it, actually, though. But, uh, it's just at this, at this point, the speed is a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. It's like, whoa. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I can spin my thumb fast enough. I probably could. If I could tap, I could. I think it's the fact that I'm rolling my thumb, sliding my thumb on the pad. That might take too much time rather than tapping. But tapping, I don't know, wouldn't feel very natural. One last game. Focus, focus. 20 points. Which image was used in the mosaic? Look carefully. All right. Very straightforward game here, just inspect! Uh, oh yeah, this thing. Uh, 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 what? I disagree. Oh, this is a bad start. And how many points? 20. I disagree there. But maybe it's because I don't know how the bulldog would look. I mean, see, that's easy. That was super easy, but show me two black and white puppies, like... All right, that looks to be a strawberry again. All right, hey, it's strawberry. We did it. Let's play baseball. One more time. Let's go. That's spinning. That's a peanut. It's a or like yeah, okay. It's a pear upside down. That's shaped like the cartoon depiction of a bald man. Hey, that's a Dalmatian. Okay, you can see it very clearly at the very last minute. I wonder how that's gonna look like when it's gonna go faster. That's a bulldog, okay. Ah, they changed it! They changed their relative position to one another. I was not ready for that, clearly. That's a tomato. All right, so be careful. Don't just assume it's gonna be on the side you think it's gonna be, huh? Requiring even more power of observation. Because first you gotta inspect the object itself and determine what it is. But then you gotta verify on which side of the thing it is. It's incredible. What a concept. I, that was just noise. It was visual noise, but... There's more denser... Uh, black with the bulldog. Where that was the Dalmatian, it's a little bit more spread around. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. That's the way to interpret reality, as we know it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 because uh, you can see, like, his big old snout. Um, there was no detail. There was no detail! Like, I did not see any hint of any sort of face. I don't think that the man is a good one. So, so there was no facial details at all there. But there is, like, the shadow of... Uh, I could not... I would not know. Like, I took a chance. I think I saw the the flushness of the cheeks, but like gonna be real, I'm not really sure. At least there the green, like the greens are different shades of greens, and that's that's this guy. So tomato and uh, strawberry seems pretty f free, because the green is like much lighter on the strawberry. So I think that's the guy. All right, well I won. Um. I won. I, I found just enough sort of tell with each each things, but yeah. At this point, I feel like it's just it doesn't detran doesn't have time to detransform properly. So we just kind of barely have a shape that appears. Like the transformation speed hasn't changed. It's just that we see a significant lesser amount of it. But I mean, it's still kind of working. Like I said, deeper green. It's a tomato. That's this dog, because of the black snout. Yeah, light green makes it super easy. It's the easiest one. That's Dalmatian, because there's more white in the picture. Impossible to tell. And I didn't, I, I didn't press on time. I think that's a guy. 
I think if there's like whiteness in the middle of the screen, it's the guy. And if it's all brown, it's the gourd. I think that's the way to go. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's tomato. Just strictly on the strength of the stem. See, that's lighter, so it's gonna strawberry. Strawberry. You have to be able to tell like immediately. Dalmatian. Uh, this. Really? Darker in the middle, but was the man anyway? Yeah, man and gourd. They're just too similar. Like, I just, I cannot tell the difference. Only double points. I have to be okay with that. And you know what? I am okay with that. IQ games are very weird. It's a weird fit. But hey, we're halfway through, so it's all good. Ba -ba.